Replays was approached by New South Wales Parks and Wildlife to construct or design a platform. Replays approached SR Engineering to uh, come up with some ideas as we do a lot of innovative work with them. Some of the goals for this project were to use recycled plastic in the construction. As nothing like this has been done before in this sort of situation, it was really a ground up build and there was a lot of challenges to be met on the way. As the kayak launch sits in the water, timber was not a viable option, so recycled plastic has been used throughout. We were able to incorporate a lot of recycled plastic into this project by using it on the gangway, the deck, the kick rail, the kayak launch behind me and also the sliders in this seat I'm sitting on. Recycled plastic was also used in strip form along the kayak launch to reduce the friction between the kayak and allow easy entry to the water. Prefabricating allowed us to assemble this unit on site within three days. We designed a transfer seat to allow easy transition down into the kayak by simply stepping down the transitions on the seat and using the slide out to then get into the kayak. The varying water levels of the river were uh, quite a challenge so we had to introduce a new cable stay system. To accommodate the varying water levels we designed a gangway gradient indicator. This allows people to make a informed decision before entering the platform. Being in a remote location, low maintenance was a key objective. Using recycled plastic has allowed us to achieve that goal, especially in the areas of this structure that are submerged underwater. It's been very exciting for us to be involved in this project from the start, creating a new innovative product which is going to basically help communities to get out into these areas and people to enjoy the sport of kayaking.